uh, in John 14, verse 1 to 6, let me read out. Let not your heart be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. Two, in my father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? Three, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, that where I am, where I am you may be also. Four, and you know the way to where I'm going. Five, Thomas says to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Six, Jesus says to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. This is the word of God. So from this passage, I want to bring a short sermon, a short uh, like funeral sermon uh, from the topic, Jesus prepare room for his followers. Jesus, Jesus prepare room for his followers. In verse, it, my point number one is peace. I'll talk about peace from, uh, in first. So in verse one, the first thing Jesus asks us to trust in his peace. Jesus, first thing, he, Jesus asks us to trust in his peace. This last day has been very difficult for each of you. As you knew, departure was imminent. The disciples felt all those things as well, as Jesus is going to depart from them. Their week has begun glorious with Jesus. Dramfat entry into uh, Jerusalem with people waving palms, branches. And now they have begun to realize that Jesus wouldn't be, able, uh, wouldn't be with them much longer. So the disciples were upset. And so Jesus looked at them with tenderness and said in verse 1, let not your heart be troubled. In verse 1 he says, Let not your heart be troubled. The tense here means to stop letting your heart be troubled. Stop letting your heart be troubled. This is what Jesus talked to them. Indicate that they were falling apart. The word your is Blurer as Jesus moved from the, uh, talking to Peter to entire team. Trouble, trouble literally means to be stirred up. So in the end, as they know that Jesus is going to leave them, so they were very uh, worried what they will do without him. So Jesus mentioned in verse 1, Let not your heart be troubled. This is what Jesus says. In the second half of the verse 1, Jesus makes another claim to Titi. Believe in God. Believe also in me. Here he is saying something like this. Uh, you trust in God who is invisible. And that's great. Now it's time to trust in me. Even though I will be living for you a well. The only way to have peace in the midst of troubled times is to trust Jesus Christ. Later in, this, in the same chapter, in verse 27, Jesus says, Peace I live with you. My peace I give you. I did not give to you as a world give. Do not let your heart be troubled and do not let them be afraid. Today, if you feel like crying, let it out. When a friend of Jesus died in John chapter 11 verse 35, Jesus said that Jesus broke down and wept. If Jesus wept, then so can you. Invite him into your pain. He never promised to keep us from tough time. 
but He does promise to give His peace in the midst of difficulties and trouble. The first thing Jesus tells us is to trust in Him. When we do, He will give us His peace. Next, He, he tells us to focus on another place which He has prepared, another place. The first thing Jesus tells us to, uh, in the second verse, Verse 2 and 3a, in my father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, I would have told you, I'm going there to prepare a place for you. Jesus was talking about a place for us, the place which he has prepared for us. He was talking about here in this verse 2. For those who know Jesus, that is not an airy journey to an unknown destination. Believers are uh, assured that there is a place where all wrong will be made right, where all imbalance will be straightened out. The Greek word of, for room, here as it says, the room means to abide or remain. And refers to something that is not temporary, but permanent. This is the meaning of uh, room in Greek word. But friends, our place here won't last. But we are headed to a place that is everlasting. When Jesus said there are many rooms in his father's house, and he is going there to prepare a place for them, He's droning, off, he's droning on a very familiar image. In those days, it was a customary for a traveler to send um, someone ahead to find lo lo longing. It was, it was their customary to send a, a, traveler, a, a traveler to send someone to go ahead and to find a place so that they, they can rest before, we go to, uh, before they go to uh, the, the very place. So our place, our place here wouldn't last uh, arrangement in a distant city. They, they now, nowadays we use uh, like Google or uh, series, Google map, all these things we use and we used to go. But... That time, they sent a traveler to, uh, to find a longing place. So friends, Jesus has gone before us to prepare a place for us in heaven. All the arrangements have been made for those who have put their full faith and trust in Him. It's interesting, isn't it? That Jesus has prepared a, a room for us. Even though there, there was no room for him when he uh, came into this world. When he was born. Despite the fact that we kick Jesus out of the world. Jesus invite us into his. We kick out but Jesus invite us into his. Jesus says there, that there is a place for those who believe in me. In fact, he left the disciples in order to get uh, some rooms ready for them. We all are searching for home. We all are searching for home. Part of our problems is the most, is that most of us are too tight. To this place. We often think that uh, this is the land of the living and that when we die, we are going to the land of death. The opposite is really true. This is the land of dying. This is the land of dying. When our life is over here, 
we are transferred to the place of the living. Either to the place of eternal joy or to the place of terrible torment. There are really only two possible destinations. And also Jesus promised in verse 3. Jesus promised in verse 3. Jesus gave a promise to his fragrant flowers in verse 3. I will come back and take you to be with me that you also may be where I am. This is what he promised. Jesus is saying, I'm not just going to show you the way to the place where I have prepared or just give you a map. I promise to come back and take you. He did not just say, it, I will show you I, the, the, uh, the room I have prepared. But he said, I will come back to take you to, the, to that place so that we, cannot, uh, we can be together forever, that you, you will be finally home. Jesus reinforced this promise in John 14, verse 18. I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you. This is what he pro promised, to take us. Some additional uh, like cultural uh, context is helpful uh, here. When a son is going to get married, uh, yes, he and his fathers will add a room. Like, uh, example, when we... In, in our place, when the son is going to get married, they prepare a room or a house uh, for them. So, when the additional was uh, finished, the room additional was finished, that uh, the son would go and get his bride uh, for the wedding, and then they would move into the new prepare uh, for them. Likewise, Jesus is preparing a room for his uh, bride, the church, right now. When the time is right, he will gather us and bring us to the Father's house, to the place where he has prepared. Have you ever wondered what heaven will be like? Heaven will be like ready, heaven will be like repentance. Heaven will be restorations. Heaven will be real. Heaven will be reunion with Christ and with follow uh, Christ followers. Heaven will be right. Jesus guaranteed that if we put our full confidence in Him, He will be with will will be with Him forever. If we are fully confident in him. We'll be with him forever. It, that, is, that is his promise. That is what Jesus has promised to us. The Bible is full of promise. And the Bible is full of promise of God. And not none of them, not one of them have ever been broken. In Psalm chapter 145 verse 11 says, The Lord is full, faithful to all his promise and loving towards all he has made. This is what uh, the psalm says, that he is faithful in his promise. It never failed. When Jesus says he will come and take to us by himself, he will come to take us to the very place. Friends, let us trust in his peace. Let's focus on the right place. Let's claim his promise and finally, let's commit to follow his plan. In verse 4, he uh, uh, says, um, plan, verse 4 and 6, his plan. Friend, it is so easy in life to just start driving without a sense of where we have headed, where we are going to head it, where we are going, where we are going. Without a plan, we move out Scheduled to boring, uh, to fun, to exciting. Some of our experience are exciting and others are excruciating. But we are not really going anywhere. Listen, if we are going to take a trip, we better have a plan. 
a sense of where we are going. Likewise, Jesus made a plan for us. One of the disciples named Thomas spoke up for the rest of the timid team. They, they just um, did not get it. What is the world was Jesus talking about? They did not get it as Jesus said, I am going. They did not get it, so they said, what is the world was Jesus talking about? Lord, we don't know where you are going. So how can we know that, the, how can we know the way? So in verse 6, Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Jesus is the only way, the only truth, and the only life. There is no other plan but the persons of Jesus. There is no way to get to heaven unless we go through him. Acts chapter 4 verse 12. Salvation is found in no one else. For there is no other name under heaven given to man by which we must be saved. And even in Matthew chapter 7 verse 14 to uh, verse 13 to 14, Jesus made it clear that the way is narrow and restrictive. Enter by the narrow gate, for the gate is wide and the way is easy that leads to destruction. And those who enter by it are many, for the gate is narrow and the way is hard that leads to life. And those who find it are few. In John chapter 3, verse 36, whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. Whoever does not obey the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God remain on him. Jesus is very exclusive in the sense that everyone is inviting to a relationship with him. As John uh, 6 verse 37 states, And whoever comes to me, I will, cast, I will never cast out. But his claim are extremely exclusive in that there is no other way to heaven except through him. Even in John chapter 3, verse 3, Jesus declared, I tell you the truth, no one can see the kingdom of God unless he is born again. Jesus, as we are all born once physically, so, so too we must have a spirit, spiritual birth if we hope to go to heaven. Like we have a physical form, we must have a spiritual birth if we go to heaven, if we have to go to heaven. Later in the, in the same chapter, in verse 27, Jesus said, Peace I live with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as a world gift. Do not let your heart be troubled and do not let them be afraid. If you feel like crying today, let it out. When a friend It's time to come to Christ. There are only one, uh, one conditions to entrance into heaven. It is not a matter of um, trying to pay the price by being good or offering a bit by going to church. The only requirement is that your personal belief that Jesus paid the price by absorbing your sins on a cross. And that he rose again so that at the moment of your death, you will be raised too. Believe that Jesus is the way and the gift. And then give way to his way in your life. Jesus is the way and then give way 
to His way in your life. Believe that Jesus is the truth and live by His truth in your life. Believe that His life, He is life. And then receive the one who alone can give you eternal life. Allow Jesus to give you His peace. Hold on to His promise. Focus on another place, not in this worldly place, full of sorrow. And commit to follow His plan. Heaven is prepared place of peace. Heaven is a prepared place of peace for all of us. Promise to prepare people who partake of his plan. Are you, are, you ready, uh, are you ready to die? James chapter 4 verse 14 says, What is your life? You are, a, you are a midst that appear for a little while and then vanish. Proverbs chapter 20, uh, 27 verse 1. Remain us, remind us, do not boast about tomorrow because we do not know what they will bring forth. Now, I want, each, I want to ask each one of us, what do you feel when you saw this coffin? When you saw this cross, what do you feel? What was in your mind? What was the first things that come in your mind? It is fear. It is, it is fear that came in your mind or it is peace that came in your mind. Today, the man, this man has gone to the room which Jesus have, has prepared. What about you and me? In the last day of, in the last day on this earth, what about you and me when, uh, that, uh, who left behind? Are we still doubt that we are going to, uh, uh, we are going uh, to the room which the Jesus has prepared for us. Are we ready to go with him when he came and to, uh, when he came to take us? Life is too unpredictable and too uh, brief to leave it without God at the, at, at the center. We count our life in a year, but God tell us in Psalms 9, 90 verse 12, do numbers our days. The truth of the matter is that every one of us is just one heartbeat away from eternity. A sickness, a stroke, a heart attack, an accident, and mass shooting, or even a terrorist attack could snuff out our life in an instant. In Samuel chapter 20, verse 3, David says, Yes. As surely as the Lord lives as, and as you live, there is only a step between me and death. Don't put off a decision to follow Christ. Decide today to give your life to Jesus. It's time to repent and receive Christ so you can be redeemed and you can be with Jesus in the room that he has prepared in his father's house. Let's uh, rise up and sing 333. As a closing song, let's rise up and sing 333. Verse, only verse 1. God be with you till we meet again. By His counsel, guide upon you. With His ship securely for you. God be with you till.
Let's pray. Now may the God of peace, who through the blood of the eternal covenants brought back from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherds of the sheep equip you with everything good for doing his will and may the work in us what is what is pleasing to him through jesus christ to whom be glory forever and ever amen <laughs>